right, so this is my review and I'm gonna try to not set the house on fire. Um, I'm trying this once to see if it will work. Um, so this is my review for the 2018 uh, sixth installment of Tremors. Uh, a little backstory on, on me is obviously I am a big fan of the tre uh, Tremors movies. Uh, obviously the best one is the first one, no argument there. I personally also liked one through th uh, three. Four was was enjoyable at the time, and I was a teen, so my brain was a little bit different, so I haven't really watched them back. But I thought it was very interesting, but it could just because it was a Western. Um, I, I do understand why a lot of people don't like it, because it, 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 I, it definitely, I, I can agree with that. It definitely just was pretty bland. Um, and, um, you know, it just took away. There wasn't a whole lot of action, especially from Bert. Um, and I tried to get back into it because I completely forgot about it and I didn't know they made another movie. Um, they made a fifth one. And, um, you know, I tried watching it last year to do a review on it back when my stuff was uh, crappy. Um, and... I honestly couldn't get through past 10 minutes of it. It was, it was the production value was bad and the whole um, uh, commentation between, um, uh, between people that in the beginning of the desert, uh, I just couldn't do it. It was pretty bad. So then I forgot about it, pushed off uh, the 2008 one, which is we're watching right now, uh, thinking it was it's pretty bad. Um, so what you gotta keep in mind though, this is the Tremor franchise and at this point, uh, they're kind of low budget type of stuff, you know, you are going to expect cheesiness to it. Uh, so I'm definitely not going to uh, add the, um, the cheesiness into my equation of this review, just a heads up, because there was definitely some cheesiness and stuff, but what it comes down to is, is it bearable? And for me, this was bearable. Um, there's definitely a scene towards the end that was definitely drawn out, like two scenes that were put into one. Uh, and that's where they got the graboid in the shipping container, and they were taking time, time, uh, time, um, beating the the uh, the what do you call it? The mouths, you know, um, the tentacles is what I was thinking. Um, and uh, that was definitely this really. I didn't like that part. It was really bad. And then they got into uh, the really awkward and this stretched out part that came right after it is where the guy went in into the um, the, the monster. It's just the logic behind that, and then also the awareness to it was just wasn't there. Uh, wasn't right. Um, so. Again, this is a, 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 a fun movie is what it is. And I had fun and I enjoyed it. Um, but when you come from a, a, a hardcore, well, I used to be hardcore, but just a enthusiast to the Tremor franchise, which is a, a, a popular, popolitic culture thing, or pop culture thing, um, excuse me for my words, you, you tend to see stuff in here that point out that are not that great. This one, this movie has a huge bunch of problems in this with the main story. Um, uh, first off, I want to point out that the love story in here, uh, which is not really to the, the originals comparing to them. It's just that it felt like it was flawed out force in there. I mean, uh, it just, there were so many things wrong with that. It was just so, it wasn't even this, you know, uh, Generic. I don't know what the word is. Um, but the, to the problems, though, here's the thing about it. It was up. Uh, it was enjoyable to the point. Uh, but then, towards the middle of the movie, you start getting tired of what they did. Is it felt like they were compensating, and that's where they did with the um, the, the the references or uh, Easter eggs. Um, from the other ones, especially the first one. And they, they really did it way too much throughout the movie. Um, the other thing is, is in the beginning, Bert gets a call from this young lady who's enthusiast about him, um, a, a fan, I guess. And she sat there and explained 
everything we know about the tremors uh, and the ass blasters and the other thing that happened between the first one and the third one. Um, which is fine, but it couldn't be more clear that for some reason Bert is like hearing this for the first time. I could be reading that wrong, but that's how it came off. Uh, that's definitely not something that was great, uh, but it was, a, it was a, a, a part in there and it was like I was moving on from it. And I was enjoying it. Some GG jokes in there, but um, another thing was that uh, that actually really just kind of came off just kind of gimmickal and odd and uh, it just also didn't again fit into the storyline is that the tremor just all uh the, the yeah the tr uh graboids is what it's called the graboids uh one just came out of nowhere after rumbling and then this uh uncle poked his head as uh his tentacle up by the window and went through it and grabbed the lady and then they grabbed her here, here, and then for some reason, comical reason, they grabbed her in the crotch um, and then threw her out. Um, I don't know, I just, I just felt like there wasn't really much of a, a lead up to that and it just kind of felt like it was just random. Um, however, the hugest part of this that I, I have a huge issue with when it comes to logic uh, when this franchise is so as the, the middle of the movie goes and to the end, uh, they have all the, they're in this box canyon area, like in the first one, except this is in Alaska. So you, they're, they're in these places where they're hiding, you know, in the building, but they're, the, the, the problem is they're inside the building on the ground. They're not on top. So if you know anything about the Graboids is, you know, they go underground really fast and they can go breach, uh, break through wood and stuff. Um, I mean, it could have been, con no, it wasn't concrete because there was a part in there where they broke it through. Which I, I could have got over with if it weren't for the fact that they were constantly running back and forth. I'm not even running, like walking outside in and out of the building and then walking from one place to another. There's even a part where a guy was just running to after this guy who was in a truck. And he was running there and he sat there, he talked, uh, stood there and talked to him. And uh, you know, and that's the other thing, the tremors when they were, I mean the, the graboids when they were coming through the rocks or the ground, it, it felt like they really stretched out each one. You know, it really stretched out the one. But again, it comes down to the whole ridiculousness of it, of them just wandering free on the ground and they're not being attacked. There was the, they only attacked them when the, the writers wanted them to attack. Uh, instead of more of that, but with logic. Because you remember in the other ones is that they had to immediately get off the ground because no matter if they touch the ground, immediately they're going to get grabbed because the graboids wait. And so, you know, there's a whole part in there where two guys go out and come back in and out as they're having this conversation talking about, you know, you need to keep uh, calm and not make any noise, but they're making noise by walking in and out of the building. And there's even the bad guy walks into it even during it. It, it was a ridiculous movie. Uh, I mean, a ridiculous uh, writing. I don't know who read it. I definitely did not like that. Um, Unfortunately, that does hit a lot with the rating of this film. Uh, I give this two out of five stars. Um, we will be seeing the one that just came out this year. Uh, it was straight to DVD, obviously, like this one. Um, I won't be watching it right away, or maybe I will. I haven't decided yet. Um, I'm planning on watching The Liberator. But again, this movie, it was fun. It was fun for what it was. Uh, that's pretty much what this is at this point. It's not like the first or second one or... Even an arguably, <clears throat> excuse me, arguably the, um, you know, the, the third one. Um, but yeah, let me in the comments below what you thought. Love and subscribe, and uh, I will have hopefully something out in the next couple days. Love you all. Skull.